Why the uh, f is he doing I'm, that? Because he's a bottom. It's okay to be gay, chat. I don't know why you're asking these questions. This is probably how you look in your underwear in front of a pretty girl. You'll probably be like, <sighs> yeah, no, you, you all, you're gay as shit. Blind dating six men based on their bodies. What's up, good humans? Milky here. This is gonna radicalize me. I'm gonna hate women after this one. Wow. <laughs> That's a good reaction. Hi, I am Leighton Hegard. I'm from Minneapolis. I make music. Yeah, you environmental do. science. Personally, I mean, I know I'm like, I'm really slender. And a lot of that is due to a medical condition that I had in this past year. So I got really sick and I lost about 25 pounds, I think. Are you ready to see some bodies? I'm really ready to see some bodies. <laughs> Wow, nice. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? I'm trying to look at feet. Contestant one. Let's see. You have some marks on your toenails. What's that from? Uh, you, what do you probably do? from me dropping like tools and other random crap. On okay. My I like to woodwork and stuff, so. So you like hit your feet a couple times? That sounds. Uh, more than a couple. That sounds <laughs> painful. Solid, solid feet. Okay. Love that. Thank you. Okay, contestant two. Oh, um, hello. Feet as well, looking great. Um, <laughs> you have a couple marks on one of your toes. Did something happen? She's investigating. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm investigating. There's not much I can go on. I recently got a pedicure and I had some color put on. Oh. Um, it was the effort of me trying to take the color off without going back. Um, contestant three, okay? Little dance, I see. Yeah. <laughs> um, love that. It looks like you cut your toenails like very sharp. Wow. Uh, yeah, I am. I am. I am trash at cutting my toenails. That looks you know? like that would like hurt really bad if someone like scraped them. Remember what that toes, happened? I just am crap at cutting my own toes. I feel like he's a big boy. Look at the size of the ankles, like tree trunks. That's a big okay. boy right there. Um, he can't okay. reach them. The contestant for okay. I love the little. Oh, shy, a little shy foot. Tell me about the toenails. Uh, um, they match my hands, so on one hand it's like short and then the other one's long because I play guitar, so it looked weird. Oh, I love Only it. having like not matching your sets, you know? Yeah, so. you just gotta be coordinating. Yeah, yeah, it's like having like not matching underwear and bra. It's, I just went the full, <laughs> the full set on you. Right here. Well, unfortunately I'm not matching. That's a, <laughs> no. Just at five. Hello. You have big feet. Thanks, um, I think. You know what they say? <laughs> well, <laughs> big socks. Let's see, what do you do? There are actually no marks or anything. So what do you do for work? Uh, work, I'm trying to become a registered nurse, but right now I'm a certified nurse assistant in a hospital. Oh, shout so out to you. I don't really drop tools on my feet. Last but not least, I love the little toe dances people are doing at Thank the ends. You. you have long feet. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what they say. Is what um, they say? You get that a lot? <laughs> People say that a lot to you. That no, like you, a... you should see it from this angle. I oh. <laughs> well. Wait, what? That, um, was, that was, What does yeah, that even mean? Cut... One man must be eliminated. Contestant three. <gasps> Just because of the toenails. What? I thought we'd at least make it to my underwear. <laughs> no. Sorry, brother. First, you know, I wore the narwhal ones just for you. Yeah. Oh my God, I am. I love the narwhal. It's you missed out. You missed out. I missed out. Yeah, I nice, nice am narwhals. so sorry. It's okay, you know. It's, it's all right, you know. It's right. great to meet you. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. I've never judged someone based on feet. I'm glad people have feet. <laughs> Shout out to walking. Short guys actually winning in this competition because they show more than just their legs in order to show the tall guy's legs. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love it. Oh. That's, that's a good. <laughs> Such a gay man in the middle. I never thought I'd say someone has gay legs. This guy's really gay legs. <laughs> Number three's scared looking. Whoa, the toes are like together. Absolute so bottom. Weird. Okay. Oh, underwear. Oh. Showing the side profile, huh? Okay. Which one is side? I'd say number two. Okay, do you guys have like a preferred body Who? type? It's the way that number two's underwear fit the thighs and the crotch. And also, I think he just has a bigger dick. <laughs> I think that's why she picked his. Guy on the end with the weird type of underwear, that's weird. How do you feel about <laughs> your own 
body as well. I would probably prefer <laughs> an athletic Jesus. body type, um, simply because I like to do a lot of various activities. I'm confident in my body. I care more about what it can do and not what it really looks like. That's good. Good answer. But she says looking at his cock the entire time. Understandable though. <laughs> How do I take care of my body? I love this. I feel like I'm in a commercial. I eat well, I think. What do you eat? My favorite food is Thai food. Okay. Contestant two. The body type I'm attracted to is a more curvy type. It's important to have that attraction up front, and then personality matters a lot more after that. I'm very confident with my body. I just don't Hi. really care what other people think of my body Hi. because I like my body like however it is. Mm -hmm. And question for you, um, what's your favorite body part on a guy? <laughs> my favorite body part on a guy. <laughs> Probably eyes, because they say, I feel like you just can tell so much about a person from their eyes. I used to actually be like a lot more fit, like maybe like 25 pounds heavier, because I used to wrestle for like the Junior Olympic team, and now I just like sing songs and draw on people, so I'm like way skinnier, and I had to get comfortable with like this, like the change in my own body, so. I don't really have a preference in body type, like as long as um, like let's say you just care for yourself or like you care about how you look or like you try to stay healthy Like that's all that matters to me like as long as you're confident in your own body I don't really go to the, like the gym, but I mean if my friends want to go like I'll go with Why the them. fuck is he doing I'm that cuz he's a bottom. It's okay to be gay chat I don't know why you're asking these questions This is probably how you look in your underwear in front of a pretty girl Have you ever stood in front of a pretty girl in just your underwear while she examines your body? You'll probably be like yeah, no, you, you all, you're gay as shit. I played basketball growing up, you know, ever since I was a little kid, and I got into working out around seventh grade and like strength and conditioning training, so. You can tell. Um, yeah. <laughs> I definitely need a girl that's shorter than me, um, but, you know, <laughs> I, I really don't have like two specific preferences. I think the face matters the most. You mentioned something about uh, you lost 25 pounds. Yeah. Um, good question. I had a medical mess up, like it's some doctors kind of medically messed up on me with some medication. Basically, I was in the ICU about a month and a half ago. I got off the medication and got better. Okay, everyone was great. It's hard to eliminate. She picked number one. I just, I generally want to know. This video is not radicalizing me. I, hi. hi. Super nice to meet you. Love that we're meeting this way. Hello. It's freezing. You have a really nice petite body. It's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you have a good body too. Nice to Thank see you. you. <laughs> I think number three. <laughs> the one. With the best feet though. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll give you a hug. Okay, I'm cold. Oh, that is cold. <laughs> I'm all gone. Nice. And scene. Um, love it. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys to all do a little dance move. All right. Hit that for me. Oh. Ooh, wow. <laughs> solid, solid. Uh, uh, we can hit like a quick little pop and then jump back into it. <laughs> oh, shit. Everybody should do that when they meet someone. Um, <laughs> tap dance. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, what am I gonna do? Ballet? Do your tattoos have meanings? This tattoo is a sunflower with just some plants around it. Um, it's not too deep, but sunflowers are my favorite flower, and every time I look at them, they just make me feel happy. So, just like a reminder to myself to just be happy and don't always strive to be happy in life. You have a lot of tattoos. Um, it's my job. I know, it's your job. What, uh, what inspired you to get into it? Um, the white one's so cool. Yeah, so it's like... How does that work? Yeah, you just do white ink instead of black ink. Uh, my first tattoo is on my hand. What? I get them when I travel, so like a travel log. Oh, so like really they're all cool. from different places on my arms and legs. And what? Back. Yeah, you cannot see them on this camera unless they flipped it like that. Black ink. Uh, my first tattoo is on my hand. That looks so cool, dude. But they're Happy like really tattoos. subtle looking. Okay, number three, no tattoos. Yeah, no tattoos, I'm sorry. No, it's uh, okay, Asian I don't have parents, tattoos either. You know, Asian parents, they don't allow it, but you know, maybe one day. Solid legs, um, <laughs> body. You look super fit, you look strong, which is always a plus too. 
What would you guys do to comfort me if I was really sad? One thing that I like to do when I'm sad is create actionable steps as to like how to feel better. Um, mm -hmm. Like for example, clean your room or I don't know, things that make you feel good, so. I definitely like huddle you and listen to you and, and um, I try to like make you feel more comfortable. I'd probably just like be there, listen and maybe hold on to the advice until later. They didn't get a single fucking chat. If this was shot in the South, the girl would probably look the same, but the boys would be like, well, I'd probably, uh, I mean, if you like, if you like uh, when guys eat you out, I'd probably eat you out when you're sad, make you feel better, take your mind off of it. Oh, uh, hmm, awesome. <laughs> So nice, it's hard, this sucks. Um, I think I'm gonna eliminate number one. Oh. Yeah, just cause, I don't know. I, there's, there's like no specific reason. Oh, I just thought that L. Was like, were you tossed it. I guess, and not in a bad way. You were also really funny too. Great body. You yeah. have a great body too. Thank you, thank <laughs> You're really you. pretty too. Oh no. Okay, I think I'm gonna eliminate number one. Close though. We got 45 here in the year of 1887. Hey yo, Frog Julie, thank you for the 12 months. Thanks for the 12 months, Frog Julie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Libertarian women and their Asian husbands. I'm Leighton. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Scott. Nice to see you outside of the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I guess we're gonna go on a picnic date, and if it goes yeah, well, we're getting matching tattoos. I think that's the move, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're both gonna get tattoos <laughs> for the first time. What do you think of each other seeing each other now? I mean, I think you're beautiful. Score. <sighs> Maybe I'm a little radicalized. I'm not that radicalized. No, there was, I think there was some better options. You know, she went for conservative parent baggage. Maybe she can relate to it. She had no tattoos. Maybe it's something she can relate to as a, as a little white girl. All three of those dudes had very similar bodies. I guess he is the most athletic. This entire video has made me realize how much faces matter. Yeah, you think so? It's the part of your partner that you will interact with the most, unless you are me. 